We feel that the women of South Broadway Athletic Club and the women of South Lake St. Louis have been slighted for too long. And we're here to offer you an alternative beauty contest. That's right, the Miss Turnbuckle Beauty Contest. Held on May the 16th at the corner of Grand and Juniata. Come on down from 11 o'clock a.m. to 12 noon. We need you to come on down and be a part of our contest. All we ask is that you're the age of 21 or over. We've got some fantastic prizes for the people that join and with us and enter the contest. We also have some celebrity judges. So please come on down and show us your South Side womanhood. Show it to us. We need to see it because we, the women of South Broadway Athletic Club and South Grand, need to be recognized. So come on down. The girl was right. This is not a joke. This is a real beauty pageant, the Miss Turnbuckle Contest. There will be hundreds and hundreds of dollars of prizes for the winner. Celebrity judges will decide who is number one. And the queen will be awarded her crown by the most eligible bachelor in South St. Louis. So be there Saturday. May 16th for the first annual Miss Turnbuckle Contest. Celebrity judges will decide who wins. It's gonna be a real happening. So come on down. Saturday, May 16th, the first annual Miss Turnbuckle Contest on Grand South Grand. It's part of Grand South Grand Day. Tonight, on the Worldwide Magazine 6th Anniversary Party, you won't see Eric Mink, Paul Shankman, John Perchborn, Radio Rich, Elaine Beats, Joe Mama, Robert Ruggieri, and William Stage. We invited all these people. Most of them said they were coming, and nobody showed up. But anyway, here's a rebroadcast of the highlights of the seven hour long Worldwide Magazine sixth anniversary party. Okay, Pete, I just want to congratulate you. Uh, I think it's really something that for six years you've been on cable TV, and I think you've been a success at it, even though I don't think that most of your shows have been very um, uh, informative or... Um, I don't know what the right word is. But anyway, Pete, uh, you've had some unusual people and you filled some unusual places. It's too bad you ever made a, a dime off of it, Pete. Ha, ha, ha. But Pete, uh, maybe one of these days you'll do better for yourself. Uh, I know I wised up on you five years ago when I got rid of you. Ha, 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 Okay, hi, everybody. This is the beginning of a rather long evening seven hours and it's our seventh or should we say our sixth anniversary for worldwide magazine our show is going to be partly live and partly on tape and here on the live part the live and lively part we have one of my good friends mr chuck norman the president of wgnu who is on his way to a ball game well th pete thanks for calling me live i, I didn't think you, i looked right i know you look pretty alive and <laughs> thank god he is <laughs> well pete uh, it's a nice to be here you see you've been doing this now for six years six years see the sign behind Ooh, you that's a long time six pete. years and who said this show wouldn't last huh well i don't know how well it has lasted but we're here and you're gonna give us credit for that chuck how long have you been in radio oh gosh i hate to tell you pete i go uh, i go way back actually i've been in radio since uh, the late 40, 1948 to be exact i shouldn't have done it but i have and uh, our radio station, WGNU, went on the air in 61, 1961, so we just passed our 30th birthday. Well, let me just tell you something. I've been in radio for many years, and I've worked at a number of radio stations, and Chuck is somebody very different than your average radio executive. And by that, I mean he's not only in business to make some money, he's in business to do some good for the community and to have some fun. And, I mean, you're not trying to be the number one station in town. You're just trying to talk to people and make a living, and it's, it's a great attitude. And I think radio would be a whole lot better if other owners had the same attitude that you have. Well, thanks for saying so, Pete. Uh, 
that's right. We don't care so much about making money. We just want to make friends. I think you you have the same philosophy. You don't make a whole lot of money. We don't make any money. No, <laughs> I mean, lose we lose money. <laughs> Anyway, it's really neat that you're starting off our program. We're going to be on for a long time, and as the uh, night goes on, I really can't tell you what's going to happen. We've invited a lot of people to come, and who's going to come, and when they're going to come remains a mystery, but hopefully somebody will come, or it's just going to be me. Then we got a guy standing next to me, or should we say sitting next to me, who a year ago was big daddy but now a year later he's come out like a butterfly metamorphosis and his new persona is going to be announced on this program this evening no more big daddy introducing to the world for the first time handsome buddy belly <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Big Daddy is dead, and it's now Handsome Buddy Bailey. That's the name I'm going under from now on. When you see me, that's what you call me. Just plain handsome. Uh, he's kind of like what, what, uh, a playboy, international playboy. It's true, it's true. I can't help it, it's just true. <laughs> uh, this is Uncle Larry, and I think Big Daddy is a big jerk, not a little jerk, a big jerk. He's coming after me now. Get him out of here. Grab the phone, hold the phone, hold him. Hey, I was in a hotel the other night there. I want to grow up to be just like Big Daddy. <laughs> big Daddy is a fruit. Big Daddy's a big jerk. And he'll prove it tonight. He's a jerk. He's a jerk. Big Daddy is a mean guy, and I don't like him because he's not fair to good guys. And he only cares about is making money. And money's not important. Being nice to people is. This is Jerry Mathers, the beaver, and Big Daddy reminds me an awful lot of Lumpy Rutherford. Hi, everybody. This is Buffalo Bob and Clarabelle, and we want you all to know that we think that, that Big Daddy is a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hi, this is Fred Willard, and I just want to tell you that Big Daddy is a jerk. Yeah, you sit real close. Sit yeah, sit real close. Come on here. Just wait there. What do you got there, man? Oh, don't sit on the cord. Very close to. Wait a minute. Keep your hands off of me, Yeah, Sit down. This sturdy man, ladies and gentlemen, Bits and Marty. For all you people that never seen him before, this is Bits and this is Marty right here. Stand the other side of Big Daddy. Man, Vince, if you gain more weight, I can't get around you, man. Well, you know. Now we got it. Now we're a rose between two thorns. All right, what's going on, guys? What are we doing? I don't know, man. Uh, been eating those beans, keeping those engines running, putting those oil changes in, si in the system. That time of the year for them oil changes, ain't it? Yeah, it's time to shave this off, too, so this is the last time we get to see this. I thought this. that was your hunting beard, wasn't it? Yeah, the moose, the moose season's over. It's time for turkeys. Let me, let me, let me switch over to this for a minute. Let me just, wait, wait, let me just, wait, 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 wait. Let me just say something. Isn't it, isn't it amazing? I think this is really amazing. You tell me at home if you agree with me. Do these three look like they're almost related, like they're triplets? Excuse me, Pete, my beard itches. Anyway, let's get down to this. Here, Pete, oh gosh, mother that's on my forehead there. Hey, um, any sturdy women around? No, you know, I'll tell you what, handsome buddy, was it Buddy Bailey now? Beautiful, I love it. I, I, I was so impressed with you losing all this weight. I had to give you these shorts. These I mean, are me. I mean, th look at this is you right now. I mean, no one, on. no one can fit into these except hold, hold you. Hold this microphone for a minute. Hold uh, that's microphone. right. And I'm inspired by you from now on. And those are great shorts. They, they, they used to be. They, I might be wearing these tomorrow night to South Broadway Athletic Club at the wrestling matches. I might wear them. I'm Governor Ashcroft, and I've never watched Worldwide Magazine. Oh, why not? You know, ladies and gentlemen, it's handsome Buddy Bailey, formerly Big Daddy Back, and I've got Mr. Steve Bailey, who did a lot of the early shows and did a lot of shows with Pete and us at Worldwide Magazine. He just kind of disappeared off the face of the earth. I think he finally wised up and got a real job. Is that what happened? Well, what happened is I got married, and I know... Oh, uh, you're done, then. It's over, yeah, man. It's over. And that's what I kind of wanted to come out here tonight and, you know, just to reinforce to all the women who keep sending in cards and letters. Every time one of the old reruns on, you know, Pete keeps, you know, the phone gets tied up. They're calling Pete all the time. 
but you know, um, my wife doesn't appreciate it, you know, and you're just going to have to quit. You know? Yeah, just send him to handsome buddy Bailey from now on because I'm not married. That's right. And even though there's less of a man here now, there's more than enough man to still go around. That's the truth. Mommy. Okay. Mommy, mommy, the sun shines east, the sun shines west. I know where the sun shines west. How you doing? Yes, God bless you. Top leader, Peter, how are you? <laughs> my, pa my, my favorite guy, one of the most favorite guys in the world, Black Jesus. So what's up, Black Jesus? What was that black face about? That was Al Jolson. <laughs> that white boy pretending he was a spook. <laughs> no, he that was... Even show his teeth. He couldn't be he couldn't be seen at night. You know that? What do you mean? He was imitation. He was fake. This don't. Well, he, no, he wasn't really black. That was a minstrel I type know, of I singing. Know. It's called blackface, and this don't come off. Well, I know that. It's make tone. We're just showing that to show how ridiculous things used to be. I can't even wash it off. It's not dirt. It won't come off. Now tell me, I understand you were just in prison this week, huh? I was in jail, uh, Mr. Art. Uh, he see his name is Art Four. WGNU, he said I harassed him and I cursed him out and he lied and Larry Johnson would not issue a warrant and he upset my plans quite, quite, quite immensely. I wanted to be in jail and they wouldn't even lock me up. Larry Wait, Johnson. You tried to get into jail and they wouldn't lock you up? It sounds like Dick Gregory. No, Larry Johnson said he didn't want me, he didn't want to press charges. Cause, cause, cause I, cause I couldn't give him a little head. Let's see, how are we pressed to... I like women. I like, okay. I like Eve, I don't like Steve. I can dial the number? Okay, we're going to access the viewer's hotline. Okay, this is going to come on the... Uh... Voice message center, mailbox number, please. Ten messages. We got ten messages. Awkward, please. That's not too good. Okay, here's, here's some of our messages. Can you hear this all right, Major? Hey, I want to thank Major, who's like our executive director tonight, and Mike, who won't give me his last name, is the cameraman. Oh, press seven. Okay, here we go. Here's the first message. Happy sixth anniversary, Worldwide Magazine. Pete, the biggest mistake you ever made was getting rid of Denise. She's the best thing you ever had. Happy anniversary! Uh, that's true. He's not lying. But he didn't get rid of Denise. Denise got rid of him. Okay. Okay. This message erased. Next message. Where Ride Magazine is a great show. I love to watch this show every time I get a chance. Keep up the good work. This message erased. Next message. Hey, man, I love your show, man. I just love Black Jesus, you know. I don't love him because I'm not gay or anything. I just love it. You know, it's a good show. I like it, you know. Please put me on. Message erased. Next message. Happy anniversary, Pete Parisi. Is it Denise? No, Denise is This message erased. Next message. Yeah, Pete, you fat slob, you disgust me. This message erased. Next message. Yes, uh, Black Jesus, I was wondering where you're going to, what issues were you going to talk about tonight? I quite quite sure you're going to be pretty heavy, so don't disappoint us and talk about some meaningful uh, issues. Thank you. It's beautiful. Beautiful. You see the people? The flock is forming. You're watching highlights of the Worldwide Magazine 6th Anniversary Special. It was a live show, and now we're just showing you a few taped parts of it selected at random. And of course, this was TV that will live in the annals of history, originally seen April 24th, 1992. And now back to our presentation. Now, when it comes to stuff that involves women, there's two people that are standing on both sides of me that are really, how should we say, a stud stud, a lady's man, a man's lady, just a ton of fun. It's Vince and Marty, of course, and they're going to host this segment of the show. And I'll just come in and interrupt if you guys are just fumbling around, lost aimlessly like you normally are. So, okay. Come on out, ladies. I want you to meet 
these wonderful, beautiful girls from PTs. Check this out. Check Hi, out this. Dakota, I haven't seen you in a long time. How you been, Dakota? Fine. How are you guys? Oh, fine. And Takesha, how you doing? How are you? Mm. Oh, how could I forget <laughs> Sapphire? Mm. And Dallas. Oh, hi, Dallas. Mm. Hey, Marty. Why don't you take the next segment right now and start talking about, uh, the, you know, our show tonight, what we're going to do. Right. Yeah, well, ahead. thank you very much, Vince. Uh, I want to take you over, first of all, to uh, Takesha and... Um, might want to tell uh, the uh, audience of uh, Worldwide Magazine and uh, other viewers out in the city of St. Louis and St. Louis County about what you do and, uh, and uh, well, continue on. Well, we're entertainers at one of the best companies in the United States that allows this kind of entertainment. We are just there to make the gentlemen feel happy and to have a good time. Okay, very good. And uh, next to here I got is uh, Dakota, is that right? Dakota, Dakota, that's right. Okay, okay, and she uh, she is uh, P works for PTs too. I work for the PTs Corporation, but my main club is Roxy's. Okay, very well. And uh, I got Stephanie here. Sapphire. No, Sapphire, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I know, Sapphire. there's so many women out here on the show, we, you know, we just can't keep track of them anymore. And uh, you work for uh, PTs too, right? Mm -hmm. PTs and Soje. Okay, very good. And I uh, got Dallas here. Hi. Is it possible, being you're here, that you can do a little dance or something for us? Are I you want Vince to dance. Okay, could you dance with Vince? Uh... <laughs> you, you know, my knee's been hurting real bad, so why don't I just sit this one out, girls? You know, l let me sit down and relax for a minute, okay? Because I've been really... Yeah, we should all sit out. Yeah. yeah. We'd love to see you maybe do some modeling or dancing or something, you know, because they, people that hear PT girls, you know, they get real excited. And I mean, you look like you just came from church at the moment. to tell all the uh, Worldwide Magazine viewers that these these girls are very friendly <laughs> and got a lot of love to give. <laughs> but uh, what I, that ain't what I wanted to tell you. I wanted to tell you some real interesting news here that uh, the Worldwide Magazine viewers out there, if you're interested in the PT uh, girls are like going to their club or something, I got some free uh, passes here that you can uh, Send a self-addressed self stamped envelope to the uh, Worldwide Magazine post office box, which um, we know who that Pete we could come up here and please tell P.O. Box 39333, St. Louis, Missouri, 63139. So anyhow, you have to put a 29-cent stamp, a full-size envelope, and mail that to uh, the Worldwide Magazine post office box, and, and uh, Pete will be more than glad to uh, mail you a couple passes in the mail. Marty's right. If you would like two free passes to any PT's club, just send a self-addressed stamped envelope to this address, Worldwide Magazine, P.O. Box 39333, St. Louis, Missouri, 63139. This offer is only good until June 15th, 1992. 
listen, we weren't going to talk about this, but this now. this girl here, I, I guess I should let I should let everybody know. Come on, stand next to her, Marty. We'll, we'll let everybody know. We'll let it out of the bag now. It's our anniversary show. Put your arm around her. Go ahead. They've announced recently their forthcoming marriage <laughs> next month. That's the first time I've and heard and uh, they're very happy. Now give them a big kiss to show how much you love each other. Oh, isn't that wonderful? <laughs> I couldn't take it. I was getting too excited. Listen. I want you to leave. We have, we have these two beautiful, wonderful ladies here from PTs. What's your name? Dallas. Dallas? Sapphire. Dallas and Sapphire. And I know you, you want to go soon, but listen, I wish you'd stick around until something pops up. Young girls, yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> something might pop we'll up. Stick around. <laughs> Not you, Parisi. Not you. You're too okay. old. Okay, listen, we're with a mad Russian now who has to go and do his radio show at 12 midnight. How you doing? Is my good pal? Uh, I have to leave. I really have to leave. I mean, I could sit like this for about all night. Parisi, I could do this all night. I like this type of work. Yes. Uh, but you ladies actually are here to tell us about something which you forgot to mention earlier. So why don't you tell us? On May 23rd at PT Show Club in Soja, Illinois, we're having our first topless car wash of this summer. Ooh, I'm going to be there, and the Worldwide Magazine camera is going to be there. Oh, really? <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> May 23rd at the Soja PTs. Right. Okay, and I guess uh, you're going to use what? You use brushes to clean the car? Um, brushes and other sponges. things. <laughs> brushes, sponges, oil, cloths. Any oil? Uh, well, the mad Russian said that, that he would he would help you with the car wash. He said he had a long hose. Oh. Well, <laughs> we'll find out. maybe he could give one of our directors a call and see what can be done. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's a topless car wash, May 23rd at Sarge, at PT's in Sarge. And what, what, what did somebody want? Is it you, is for a charity? Um, yeah, last year it was for Dads Against Drugs. I'm not really sure what it's for this year. Howdy. My name is Matt Russian, and in some circles I'm a semi-famous, semi-infamous radio disc jockey in St. Louis, Missouri. You know that... My real love is public radio. But whenever I listen to the scumbag swine corporate radio stations, there's one in particular that I truly, truly love. I love it now when it's uh, Jukebox 96. I loved it when it was Joy 96. I was thrilled when it was RJ 96. I loved it even more when it was KD 96. Anytime they have a new format, I'm usually the first one to get behind them with all the excitement. And I'm on the street every day. I go everywhere. Everywhere I'm at, I hear people saying, Joy 96, Jukebox 96, KD 96, RJ 96. You wouldn't believe the vibes, the real incredible vibes on the street. But don't forget, don't forget, this is April, National Cable TV Month. It's TV that ain't free. And uh, right now, we're with one of my closest friends and kind of like the godfather of Worldwide Magazine, a man that I've really gotten to know and love very, very well over the last few years, Dr. Richard Parmalee. Thank you so much for coming. I enjoyed being here, Pete. And he's a very wise man. He uh, holds court every night at Manja, where like, it's like the godfather. People come up and bring him their troubles, and he presides over things. And of course, his lovely wife, Mickey, who's here, but for some reason doesn't want to be on television. Why don't you come over here, Mickey? Mickey's a, a real dynamo, and her hair is naturally red. So I know you guys out there want to see her. But of course, yes. come, 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 come. Fantastic. Okay, this is the kind of stuff you just don't see on other shows. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's see the other one. <laughs> Thank you, Mickey. Mickey, well, at least your, your face didn't get on TV. Uh, we, got a, we got a wonderful greeting from Denise that was recorded just today. I've always loved Denise. Oh, everybody loves Denise. 
Not everybody that I know has loved her. <laughs> <laughs> now listen, Denise might have some problems, but on the whole, she's pretty good. <laughs> Well, hi, everybody. Again, I just want to talk about Pete's sixth annual anniversary party. And I just want to ask these viewers out there, uh, what do you see or what do you hear to entice you to keep continuing to watch Pete's show weekly? I mean, what does Perit, Pete Parisi have to offer anyone anyway? Um, what do you guys see in his show? Or what do you think that's so amusing or, or um, interesting? Um, if you guys ever find out, let me know because uh, I've known Pete now for um, almost seven and a half years and I've never found anything interesting or, or um, unusual about Pete. In fact, five years ago, I dumped Pete, so I'm no longer on a show. Oh, okay, this is Marty's br intelligent brother, Mark. I don't know where Marty is, but uh, he's outside. Where's that Marty at? Stay out there. That's not Marty. Hey. No, hey. here's here's Vince. Here's Vince. Vince. What you know, Vince? Vince. The sturdy man. Ain't enough room in this place. Marty, Marty, Marty come in here right That's now. You, you know. Wait, Vince, come come back later. No, no, now, now, now. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Let's tear up this stuff. Please. Let's not tear this place up now, hey, please. Let's, let's talk about the niece for a minute. A little later on, we're going to play, you know, that, that, all that reminds me of one thing. Denise, we hardly knew you. Anyway, what we got here? Show us this. I got a microphone. I don't need that thing. You know, you know, I've been watching all the cable networks, and nobody's mentioned the fact, at least as long as I've been watching TV, believe it or not, nobody's really laid it in people's minds that April is supposed to be National Cable TV Month around the United States, that, I guess. Is that, a presidential, uh, is that a presidential thing or what? No, it's just something that I got used to. I mean, the past couple Aprils, haven't all of them been National Cable Month? They so it. I hold, made this sign. I made this sign here to prove a point to you. Whether, whether you watch this show tonight, you're getting it through your cable system, and you know what you owe the people to keep your cable set uh, coming with public access quality time TV. And this is TV that isn't free. Well, it ain't free. It's TV you got to see, though, right? But it's TV you got to see. I don't care what they say about April. It's still National Cable Month, and I'll remember that every year. And heck with it. Thank you, Marty's brother, Mark. A great guy. And it's people like him that help make Worldwide Magazine what it is today. We're playing you back some highlights from our sixth anniversary seven hour long special. That was on, on April 24th, 1992. People that didn't live in the wonderful TCI cable area and watch our show on other cable systems couldn't see it. So we're bringing you some highlights of it today so it won't be a total loss. And now back to our program. Welcome to the sixth anniversary show of Worldwide Magazine. I'm Dr. Biff Coppler, and Pete is busy here with some technical stuff that most of you Hoosiers in South St. Louis really wouldn't understand, even if I tried to explain it, so I'm not. Anyway, here's Pete. Well, wait a second. Uh, you know, KMOX back in 1975, they started a thing which has become very well known. It's called KMOX Call for Action. It was their gift to the community in appreciation of their relationship with St. Louis for all those years. Well, at Worldwide Magazine, we've been here for six years now. Of course, this is our sixth anniversary show. And Dr. Biff Coppler, our medical assistant, has helped create a special new organization that is our gift to the city of St. Louis. Maybe you can tell him about it, Dr. Biff. Well, Pete, as you know, and uh, probably not many of the viewers know, I work at the Nicopolis Clinic up here on uh, Kings Highway. It's near some of the major hospitals. Not many people know about it. Dr. Nicopolis, who the clinic is named after, was uh, Elvis's personal physician. And Dr. Nicopolis had a unique way of treating his patients. He believed that the patient should decide what kind of medication he would take. Elvis, I understand, was uh, partial to Dilaudid. So the patients up at the uh, Nicopolis Clinic have formed a group, and you have kindly agreed to sponsor it. Could you hold this for me? Because I want to hold this. Okay, get a good, uh, tight shot of, the, a shot of this bike, please. They've all gotten together and formed Drug Addicts Against 
drunk drivers. Dad. Dad, that's right. Uh, now this is like they had mad mothers against drunk driving, and they had st uh, sad students against drunk driving. So this is Dad, drug, drug addicts. addicts against drunk driving. And we'll be sponsoring this in the community. That's right, Pete. And we have bumper stickers for anybody that cares to write in. What is it, uh, P.O. Box 39333? Yeah, hold on, we got a picture of the... Something like that. Well, it used to be up. There it is. Can you take a picture of that, Mike? That's our address. Just send us your address. We'll be happy to send you uh, a bumper sticker and support this <coughs> worthy cause. Yeah, send a self-addressed stamped envelope. Whatever. I'm not paying for it, you know. But we got a sponsor of it. It's not going to pay for it. You know, Hi, I'm Mike Owens from Channel 5 Eyewitness News, and I never watch Worldwide Magazine. We're with a very good friend of ours, the promoter, the number one promoter, actually the only promoter, really, of uh, wrestling in St. Louis, carrying on a long tradition started many years ago by Sam Munchnik. He's kind of like a young Sam Munchnik. Tony Costa. Nice to see you, Tony. Nice to Pete, uh, see you, Pete. Uh, is this 25 years you've been on? No, I've been on for 50 years. 50 Me and years. Uh, it seems like it's a long 10 time. Year, 25 years more than Johnny Carson. Well, uh, it seems like it to me. I grew up with you, watching you on TV. Well, you didn't grow up that much. <laughs> Whoa. It's going to be a rough night, Pete. <laughs> anyway, listen, we've been associated with Tony for the last uh, six years because he's in charge of the uh, wrestling. He's the matchmaker down on South Broadway. And, and by the way, oh, I forgot, there is matches uh, there tomorrow night, isn't there? Saturday night, yeah, we got a lot of surprises. We got some big events coming up. Uh, we always got surprises. You know, the people are so wonderful there, always show up uh, month after month. And uh, without you, Pete, you know, it, it wouldn't be the su success it is. You're always there filming, uh, you and Gino and all the people and the doc and everybody, and we really appreciate that. Well, we think it's really great. i tell you what I like most about the wrestling, <clears throat> and that's the crowd, the crowd down there in South Broadway. That's really Americana. Uh, we got some uh, wonderful people there. They come month after month, and uh, we fill the place up, and we try to surprise them, and uh, usually the wrestlers do. You never know what they're going to do. Did you see it last month when I was working the camcorder and some idiot was spitting at me? Uh, I probably didn't because I was upstairs. I was in a match last month, the first time in almost a year. Are you going to wrestle uh, tomorrow night? Uh, I'm going to be ringside. You know, when Big Daddy's around, he's going to be Wait, there. No, there's no more Big Daddy. No? No, it's now it's uh, Handsome Buddy Bailey. Handsome Buddy Bailey? That's his new name, right? And he would be here now, except he had to go down to the Jamboree down at the South 40 where he practically stays every night. Well, well we're going to give a handsome Buddy Bailey a, a workout Saturday night. It looks like he's lost a lot of weight. I got information that the doctor said he's in perfect health. I think he was trying to get down to all that weight just to get back in the ring and do some wrestling. But we always got to have some surprises for Big Daddy. And uh, one surprise, Stephen Sharp is coming back to St. Louis. He's been on the road a long time. He's back here Saturday night. And I might just be ringside with Stephen Sharp. Now, what about Big Daddy Stooge, uh, 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 the giant assassin? What's the, what's the story on him? Well, that's one of the Stooges. He's got a lot of them, you know, SOS and uh, a few other Stooges. But uh, I've heard a lot of it. Hey, 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 hey. I can take this stuff. Oh. Wait, wait. Sit down, sit down. We're not done yet here. Giant assassin. Big Daddy is always going to be Big Daddy. He's the man of wrestling. He rules the wrestling world. You know how it goes. He's always going to be Big Daddy to me and to all his adoring fans. And uh, what are you, who are you going to wrestle tomorrow night? Doesn't matter, Pete. But who are you going to wrestle? Doesn't matter. Me and Big Daddy will annihilate whoever we wrestle. This is the hottest joint in town tonight, Pete. I went down to the Blues, the Blackhawks, tried to get a ticket there. I couldn't get a ticket. I went down to the Cardinal game. I couldn't get a ticket. I finally got a ticket to this thing. I hear some scalper out here hit me for 150 bucks. I thought I did. I got a good deal. What do you think? <laughs> well, this is the Worldwide Magazine sixth anniversary party. We're here all the way for another two hours and uh, eight minutes. That's our viewers' hotline. Um, well, what's going to happen at the phone person? Yeah, right. Show you. Well, listen, what's going to happen at wrestling tomorrow night at the South Broadway Athletic Club? It's going to be the best show at yet. To date, it's blood, guts, gore. There's going to be a, not a Miss Turnbuckle contest. We're going to have a Miss Toothless front row contest. <laughs> it's a, What's the joke about the front row of the yeah, South? Yeah, one has uh, 42 legs and three green teeth, the front row of the South Broadway Athletic Club. <laughs> I love you fans. Come on out and see me again. Pay the money and sit in the seat so I make the money.
Hi, everybody. This is Buffalo Bob. And I never watch Worldwide Magazine. Right, Clarabelle? Yo, yo. Hey, everybody out there. This is Stinky Smelly Videos, our songs. Stinky Stupid Songs. See that up there? And we're here. We got my fabulous Yamaha. You can hear this music. I did this myself. Listen. Look at that. How is that? Genius. All right. All right. I'll turn it down. Right here, I got my, my pal, my main pal over here. She's going to help me out. This is MC Mickey. Mickey, MC Mickey is dope. That, that means cool. She's so cool, she don't even talk. She's like got frozen jaws. <laughs> right there, we got Big Ed. Big Ed, he helps out too. Now we're gonna do videos. We're gonna do songs. We're just gonna have a lot of fun here. First of all, I wanna thank Pete Parisi for letting me come here. This is, this is like so great because nobody ever gives me a chance to do anything. But Pete said, I can come on here and be stinky. And I can do songs. We can do videos, everything. So I'm glad we're on. And I just want to say, Spit it out. you guys, thank you. You guys, oh, it's good. I don't want to spit it out. But I want to say something now. You guys working the cameras and the video and all the don't mess it up, because this is my big chance. And if you mess it up, I'm going to have my Aunt Kathy call you. And she'll just, she'll, she'll tell you what for. So don't mess anything up. Keep the camera straight. Keep the volume on the mics. Double Helix is known for their quality sound production. So oh, keep, oh, 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 keep that oh, oh, mic oh, oh, oh. going. That's there fun. it is. That's fun. So anyway. I want to do, uh, remind everybody they might have seen this before. Oh, we got a call, MC Mickey. Hello? Hello, honey. This is your Aunt Kathy. Aunt Kathy, I love you. I'm on TV, all me, me and MC Mickey and, and Big Ed and... I know, honey. Now, are they treating you right down there? Because if they're not, I'm coming down there and kick their butt. I would hope so, because I need help. If they if they hurt my little darling or they mess up, I'm going to come down there and butts are flying. See, I told you guys, and my Aunt Kathy's mean, because she wears three-inch heels. Yes. And she knows, <laughs> she knows how to use them. Let me tell you that right now. Now, honey, don't hog all the camera time now. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. I thought I was supposed to do that. Oh, anyway. Okay, Aunt Kathy. Boy, this is great. This is just like Carl Hepp, you know? <laughs> I love that guy. Where am I? Who cares? Carl's a lot smoother, though. Ah, shut up. Anyway, I wanted to tell you, Dr. Biff... Where, where, hey, who cares about that thing? Dr. Biff was on before, and Dr. Biff, he has this... Dr. Biff is a humanitarian of the highest order, and that's the way he usually is. Is high. Anyway, Dr. Biff has a new uh, organization. It's Dad. You've heard of Mad, Sad, Glad. They made the trash bags. That is almost a wrap. This is Dad. This is drug addicts against drunk driving. You dopers out there, go away. You're screwing on my. You're screwing on my golf. Carl doesn't even do pink, that. Pink, pink. Oh, all right. That didn't work. Nothing's working right. I'm going to get my Aunt Kathy in here to, to tear out the phone company. Anyway, back to this. I just want to say, drug addicts against drunk driving. If you're shooting drugs, you got to join this organization. We want these drunk drivers off the road. Get them out of here. Right, MC Mickey? Yo. You. Right. Right on. All right, we got this great candy. Easter candy. Easter bunny came to my house. Face this way. There you go. Big Ed gets one. Deaf Major. 
MC Mickey, I won't throw it at you. I'll just let you get it yourself. Okay. Well, it's time for our first, it's gonna be time for our first song. And it's gonna be Betty Boo. And she's gonna sing a song about Big Boss. It's sexual harassment, one of my favorite topics. I love harassment in general, but sexual harassment I really love. That's one of my favorite things. I love it. Hey, Mike, Snakey, let me ask you something. How did you get this show? You gave it to me, Pete, and I love you for it. I'm gonna come and spend the weekend with you. Just, I just wanna be around you. You've always been one of my heroes. You and Big Daddy and, and Dr. Biff and Pasta Doctor, all these people have always been big heroes of mine. But Pete, I really thank you. I really, from the bottom of my heart, I wanna thank you. And anyway, I guess we're ready. Are we ready for our new video? Big Boss by Betty Boop about sexual harassment. We love it. Here it goes. Made a pen and ink. She could win you with a wing. Ain't she cute? Sweet Betty.
right? All right, we're back. Yes. Back to stinky, stupid songs. Yes. I'm eating myself a 7-Eleven Big Bite, smoky Big Bite. Oh, See that? As Jimmy Stewart dropped in. Bye, Jimmy. It was nice seeing you. Yes. Thanks, Jimmy. The old man senile. Look at this stuff he's throwing around here. I, I can't get on Channel 35. They won't let me on Channel 35. How did you get a show on Channel 35? Aunt Kathy got me the show. My Aunt Kathy does everything for me. If she liked you, she'd get you a show on 35, too. Anyway, I thought we'd... Uh, Play some polka music because we're eating a Polish sausage big bite from beautiful 7-Eleven. Here, get some Here we are. Thank you. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's a stinky, stupid song show. We got another call. Am I wonderful or what? Right? Beautiful. All right, here we go. Hands free and uh, we're on line two. Line one. Line two. Hey, one. Line. Stop! Go ahead, line two! Stinky, now I see you're getting a little out of control. You've got to behave yourself. Go away, Aunt Kathy. I'm having fun. Get the hell out of here. No, 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 no. Now, I just called up to make sure they were treating my baby boy <laughs> right. They're fine. How is that hot dog that I got for you? It's fine. Now, get off the phone. You're taking up valuable air time. Thank you very much for getting me to show, but... I gotta go. I'll, I'll take it away from you if you're not nice no, you to won't. me. I'm too popular now. I'm getting phone calls. Yes. I got MC Mickey here. I got Ed here. I got everybody here. They're supporting Thank me. You. Pete Parisi, the king of cable television, is here. He's giving me a show. I'm ready to go. I love you, Aunt Kathy, but I gotta go. It's business. It's time to go. Goodbye. Get the hell out of there. Okay. I'll tell you something. You know MC Mickey, one of my favorite. One of my, I like to watch TV news. I love TV news. And one of my favorite TV people is a real news hound. This woman goes after the story, she digs in the dirt, she gets them stories, and she's a news hound. Mary Phelan on Channel 4, you ever see her? And you know what makes her so good? You're stepping on my line, Pete. You know what makes her so good? She's got a what nose for news. She's got a nose for news. I'm uh, sorry. Go ahead, Pete. Did you, did you hear that Mary Feeling has uh, got a new job, a national job? What's that? She's going to work for a national news agency. Which one? AP, Associated Puss. <laughs> well, <laughs> I didn't say that, uh, Double Helix Corporation. I, I like to be on your shows. Unlike some people. Anyway. I don't know to ask you a question before time. Listen. Just I've, knock the I've microphone over. <laughs> I've done all this stuff and I can't get on channel 35 and you're on channel 35. That's right. Why? Why don't they like me and they like you? Because, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's because you have such a winning personality. <laughs> You're a great guy. Pete Parisi should be on Channel 35. Yes. And I'm going to do everything in my power to get him back on Channel 35 because he yes, belongs yes. there. Could you ask your mother or your aunt? I will, if, yes, I will ask Aunt Kathy to help you get back on 35. And in fact, if you want Pete Parisi back on Channel 35, cable viewers, call, call the hotline. Call, call the hotline, 879-3002, right? Operators are standing by. Operators are standing by. Get those calls in. Get Pete Parisi back on 35. Get him on 53. Get him on 30. We don't care. We want him on every station. We love the guy. He's wonderful. Now will you go away? This is my show. Okay, now. Oh, we got a phone call. Another phone call. Now, I don't think this one's from Aunt Kathy. Uh-oh. Just like Carl Hep show. Hands free. Hi. Hi. Hi, Stinky. My name is Timmy. I, I, I heard that, are you a faggot? <laughs> yes. This is the Carl Hep Show. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, buddy. Why don't you eat my big bite? Get out of here with that stuff. This isn't, but I've never heard this stuff. They're not cool like us. I never heard such language in University City before. Now get out of here. Boy, that was a mean call. Now I know how Carl Hep feels. He takes those calls like every 20 seconds. 
Okay. We're doing we're doing fine here. And um, let's see. Remember, it was the gracious help of Pete Parisi from Worldwide Magazine that got Stinky his own stupid song show. Hi, this is Jerry Mathers the Beaver. And when I'm in St. Louis, I never watch Worldwide Magazine. The show was kind of deteriorating. Yeah. It started to deteriorate like right when you came I on, know, but it wasn't because of you, though. I, I, I just want, I'm just here to talk about one thing, Pete, if I can. Oh, yes, the Miss Turnbuckle contest. Hold on a minute. Let me Tell us about that. Brochure. Did you get a good shot of this, Mike? Absolutely. We're going to have the Miss Turnbuckle contest. It's an alternative beauty contest Saturday, May the 16th. The registration will be from 11 a.m. to 12 noon at Grand and Juniata. And the contestants need not be anything but over the age of 21. That's all we ask. There will be lots of great prizes and celebrity judges. So please come down. We're going to have a great time. We're going to give the women of South St. Louis a chance to be honored in the way that they should be honored. They'll never get to be the queen of love and beauty. I won't either. I don't know why. But uh, we want you to come down, show us your tattoos, show us your best wrestling uh, attendance attire, that is, stuff that you'd wear if you were going to wrestling, and to watch it, not to wrestle. And come on down, and we'll have a great time. This is going to be on Saturday. May the 16th, and we hope to see you there. This is a legitimate contest with lots of good prizes, so come down. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Now, Dave oh, has... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute now. Look, I come out here, I get on live television with you, Pete Parisi. Miss Candy, hey, she's hey, the daughter. Hey, Hoosier, look at the, look at the, look at the camera. Why? There's nothing but geeky... No, never mind, I'm not going to say it. Look, Pete, I come down here to put my publicity out to try to promote anything you got going because Worldwide Magazine is great. Let me spit on you, baby. Let me spit right on you. Poo! <laughs> I come down here to talk to you, to let you know that I'm here, and you know I'm wrestling. On the 16th, I'm going to fight the biggest on, man, the enough. slobber. You don't like the slobber. Don't you get on me, Pete. Don't you make me crazy. Don't you make me slobber all over you. I'm telling you, the 16th, I'm going to fight the biggest and the smallest of men. I spit everywhere. I'll spit anybody. I'm telling you, the 16th, I'm going to fight anybody. Oh, you don't you worry about it. Okay, get goodbye. Out of my face. Don't you pull me out of here. Get out of my head. You know, I was afraid for a while that Dave wasn't going to make it tonight. Um, I want to I want to talk about something serious. We want to thank Mayor Shamel, and uh, I have the letter here with me. Mayor Shamel, uh, the mayor of the city of St. Louis, was very kind, and he sent us a letter congratulating Worldwide Magazine for being on cable for six years. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you, Mayor. We're wishing you a lot of luck in your race for governor and all that kind of stuff. And thanks for being mayor. Thanks for having uh, cable TV. And thank you for the beautiful letter you sent us. We'll show that on an upcoming episode of Worldwide Magazine. So thank you, Mayor Shamel, for your letter of, of congratulations to us here at Worldwide Magazine. That's right. Thanks a lot, Mayor Shamel. Thank you, Mayor. You're wonderful. Really appreciate it. We've made fun of you in the past, but we make fun of everybody. That's right. You know, you're, you're, you're actually, seriously, you're a pretty good mayor. And I guess, you know, after you've been mayor as long as he has, you're going to accumulate a bunch of people that are mad at you because that's the way it is in life. But Just like us. Uh, yeah, just like <laughs> us. Okay, there's a picture of uh, Dave's friend, one of Dave's, Dave Perry's stumble bum friends. It's amazing. It's me. Dave has a collection of friends that are all worse than he is. They're all stumble bums. They're called like names like Monty and Willie and Gabby. And and, and Dave is Don't like forget Fuzzy. Fuzzy. And they're, they're all they're all like they all look up okay, that's enough. They they all look up to Dave as like a leader. Because Dave has a car and Dave has an apartment. And Dave usually has a six pack of bud. <laughs> so thanks, Mike. You wanted to be on TV, so uh, there you are. And Dave has Dave has a dog. Dave has a dog. I have a dog. Dave has a dog, and uh, Dave li Dave's life has gone yeah. to the dogs. 
uh, for a long time. So, Ms. Kathy, uh, you have this thing you want to read? Yes, it's, this is a letter that was written to us from Mayor Vince Shamel. And it says, Dear Mr. Parisi, six years have passed since our city of St. Louis approved the installation of cable television, and one of the major requirements was to establish of the establishment of a public access channel. Peter Parisi, yours was the very first production titled Every Day I Use Up a Year's Worth of Luck. It's quite evident that you have not slowed in your involvement. Your efforts to obtain professional staff volunteers and your contribution of talent, time, and dedication to programming that brings laughter, tears, and education to the cable viewers. They watch and they know the value of public access television. There are many to thank for the success of this media, however. Good friends of ours like Doc Parmley and many others mention you as an outstanding and tireless leader who deserves special praise. I join with your friends and viewers in offering congratulations, appreciation, and many years of continued success. Sincerely, Vincent Shamel, Mayor of St. Louis. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Hi, I'm Fred Willard, and I never miss Worldwide Magazine. I never watch it, therefore I never miss it. Ha! I'm Steve Miserati. Don't be confused. You're watching Worldwide Magazine. Hey, hey, what's your name? What's your name? Bruce. Okay, here's what I want you to give your name and say, I am so-and-so, and I never watch Worldwide Magazine, okay? What's Worldwide Ma Magazine? What's this? Sex day? <laughs> Go ahead, now say, give your name. Say, what's your name again? Bruce. Lewis what? Okay. Hi, I'm Lewis Smith, and I never watch Worldwide Magazine. Go ahead, just do that. And I'm on television? Just say, I'm Lewis Smith. You remember and I, your people is singing now? Just say, I'm Lewis Smith, and I I'm never Lewis watch Smith, Worldwide Magazine. And I never watch hey, Worldwide Magazine. Wait, 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 wait. Start it again. Start it again. I'm Lewis Smith, and I never watch Worldwide Man. Do it a little slower, I'm sorry. Do it a little slower. I can't go much slower. I'm Lou Smith, and I never watch Worldwide Magazine. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I eat at Mangia Italiano. I get my car washed at the Hampton Car Wash, and I always watch Worldwide Magazine. Yeah, but who are you? Oh, I'm uh, Dick Ford. Well, thanks to all the people that were silly enough to be on our program tonight, and all you people out there that were silly enough to watch it. And uh, I want to remind you once again that you can get two free passes to PT's nightclub, to any PT's. Just send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Worldwide Magazine, P.O. Box 39333, St. Louis, Missouri, 63139. And that offer is good only until June 15th, 1992. Don't forget that the Miss Turnbuckle Contest and Street Brawl 92 is coming up on Grand South Grand on Saturday, May 16th, starting at 11 a.m. It's really going to be a lot of fun. Don't miss it. And, of course, if you're watching this show as a rerun, it was taped in April of 1992, so if you watch it after that point, it's probably out of date. Anyway, you've been watching a re-cable cast of highlights of our sixth anniversary special recorded on April 24th, 1992. This is PEP. We'll see you later.